Hello everyone, Inflatable Guy 05 here, and today we have a review on the 2021 14 foot Santa, and Jesus, I have to back up a lot for this. Now, I do not, I, I traded this, so let me say how I got this, this thing is pretty cool, I did trade this, I traded uh, with Noah, or Inflatable Master, I think is his YouTube name, go check him out, I'll leave a link in the description, um, he traded me a bunch of four foot cheap fans for this. I think a Max, my Penguin, the Giraffe, Oogie Boogie. So all those ones are gone. And I think there was another one too. I forgot what the other one was, but that was all of them. And I got this because he couldn't sell it. No one wanted it. I said, hey, let me take it. I mean, this is great for a bunch of four foot cheap fans that are very replaceable. This thing is really awesome. He's a very big height. And, um, I have him already inflated because he takes forever to inflate. He sadly has a YEF-80 on him. Um, I wish it was a 125. And that's not the only problem. As you can see, only half of him lights up because, um, he doesn't light up good. As you see, this stitch right here, um, it is cut in half all the way up. Santa, he's cut in half. So the light bulbs are only staying on that side and not in the center so, I don't know, maybe when it gets darker out, you see it's still blue in the sky. When it gets darker out, maybe he will light up better. But, I'll have to see. It is, um, what's this month? J July, Christmas in July. So, I thought it'd be perfect time to stake them all down. He is actually staked to my roof. Which I'll show off in a minute where the stakes and tethers are. Because, uh, he did not come with stakes or tethers. I have to go on yardinflatables.com and buy the Colossal Tether Pack. I didn't want to do a review on this this early, but um, my views have been sucking ass recently, and I know why. It's because I haven't reviewed anything really interesting, so I figured I'd pull this guy out to take a break from the cheap fan garbage ones that I've gotten recently. I said I had some cool stuff, and this is one of them. Uh, he's really great. I don't know where I'm going to put him this year. Maybe right over there where the haunted house was. But um, I count six light bulbs in this. There's supposed to be five in the body, one in the star. Now, there is one in the star. But there is only three in the body. I think one is out still. But one of them actually broke. The uh, cap where you screw the light bulb in came off for me. I couldn't put it back in and I didn't want to mess with it. So I think that's what's going on right now. Because I replaced all the light bulbs. And I think the string is actually seized. And the light bulbs are going to keep going out. And there's no way to fix it. I might be wrong. It might be just maybe one of my light bulbs. But um, inflation, he takes about roughly four and a half minutes and uh, inflation wise pretty tight you can push it on a little bit but not much you really can't push it on that very tight i had to have him stake down for this video though he does not stand up on his own but as you see there are the tethers right here these colossal tethers you see he's tethered to my gutter there are tethers by his feet and these ones unlike a bunch of the old 20 foot ones reach the ground there's one on each side of his boots there are all the clips under his, um, what's it called, his base fan. There is the other tether, and I believe there is one more behind him. No, there is not. I thought there was, but I'm wrong. I thought there was three on him, okay. But, um, uh, you see, we we'll go over this. He has his black boots, his regular classic Santa outfit, and star, and big face with a nice jolly smile on it. I just like the look at it. It's not crazy awesome. The bigger they make them, the less detail they have to give them for the most part. I still think he is very cool. I think I like last year's better with the tree in his hand. But uh, I think it's great. And now he is the biggest inflatable I own. He is now bigger than the 12 foot haunted house. And the other 12 foots I have, he officially has beat the mark. 12 foot is probably where his hands are right about there. Or possibly the pom pom on his hat right about there. Um, I believe this retailed for $89 back in 2021. This was sold in store and online from my knowledge. I do remember seeing this one in the store. I saw it on display on the shelf. Uh, he was very big. I thought he was cool. I never thought I'd own him, but when I got an offer for that, that was um, something very amazing. A trade of a lifetime, I thought. And it definitely was. I think he's very cool. I never wanted anything more than 12 foot because I think... Anything more than that is going to be a hassle. He already is a hassle. He's hard to set up on my own. But I'm um, considering I just got my friend to get me something way bigger than this that was released this year. I don't know what I'm going to do when I eventually get that for next year. But um, I think he's a very great design. 
if you can find them for about a hundred bucks, I see them on eBay all the time. They don't really sell that often because it's just not really a wantable design, I guess. I think it's great though. He's got a nice poofy beard, nice mustache, a smiley face. It was very happy. I do really like this design a lot. I've been wanting a bigger Santa. So, and I did get the 10 foot one last year. I still have it. But I wanted to get like that one last year because I had the 4 foot Santa. And um, Santa should not be 4 foot. He needs to be big. He is the icon of Christmas. And there you go. 14 foot Santa. Um, Now, what I was talking about with a couple of my friends earlier on a Facebook call. I think I'm going to put spotlights on him. I don't know what color I should get, if I can possibly find a color, the same color as the lights in him, as she is going darker now, so the camera is acting up with the lights in him. But, it looks brighter on camera, but trust me, he does not light up great. For some reason, there is a light bulb in his foot, and it's not dropped down there, that is where they put it. I, I don't get what they're trying to light up, but, um, didn't really think this one through. I will say, though, he is massive, look at that back. He is very big. You see his giant neck and his chin and his head. This thing is nothing to mess with. This thing is massive. He's very big. I've never seen a 20 foot up in person, but this is about uh, 6 feet off from that. And this already is blowing my mind of how massive inflatables by Jemmy can get. This thing is absolutely extraordinary. I do love it. Um... I just wanted to make a little short video on it, nothing crazy long, but um, I guess I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!